Saddle stitch binding is quick and easy to do and doesn't require any glue. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to saddle stitch your book using thread. Here's the list of materials and tools I'll be using. For books with a thick cover and lots of pages, it's easier to bind with everything held flat together with clips and make the center fold later. Measure and make your holes for binding with an awl. Then single thread your needle, but don't make a knot on the end. Start from the inside middle hole and leave a little thread on the end like this. Sew all the way to the last hole on the right end and then sew all the way to the last hole on the left end and then sew back to the middle. On the last stitch, sew to the outside, tie a knot like this, return the needle through to the inside, and pull the knot through to the inside. Then tie one more time to complete the knot. You can tuck the ends under if you'd like and then cut the thread off. Remove the clips and take the inside pages and press them together. And press the outside cover the opposite way. This will work the paper into folding together better. Then use weights or a book press to help the book stay closed. For books with less pages and thin covers, it's fine to fold the center beforehand, then follow the same sewing method to bind it. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. And good luck on your next bookbinding project. Use the saddle stitch method you just learned and make some fun memo books on the left. Or learn how to make a seashell watercolor book to the right. And be sure to subscribe for more tutorials.